one quick question with InfoMedia, your source for answers to your questions about websites, digital marketing, and more. I'm your guest host, Elena Harmon. I'm hosting today because we're turning the tables and Carrie Rollwagon, who's usually our host, is our guest. Welcome to the podcast, Carrie. Thanks, Elena. <laughs> Excited to have you. So today we are going to be talking about transcription apps. So tell me which transcription app you use and what does that mean? Well, you already know which one I use because when I started using it, I was like really excited about it and told everybody, um, <laughs> but it's Otter. So I don't know if the name is otter.ai or just otter, but I call it otter, but the website's otter.ai, like O-T-T-E-R, like the animal. Cool. And what do you use it for? What don't I use it for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I actually started using it because um, I do write some at work. I used to be a copywriter, but I also write outside of work. I do like blogs and things like that. And I um, kind of had writer's block and I just wasn't, I'd sit down and nothing interesting would come. So somebody suggested to me, like, have you tried like dictating instead? And I think I probably was like, of course of course, I've tried that, whatever, but I had not. Um, <laughs> so I was actually looking for an app to, like, dictate writing. And it actually really did help to unblock me. So um, Otter, like, I was using the, uh, the free version at the time. I think I did upgrade, but you get a lot in the free version. Um, and so I just tried it out. I didn't see, like, a reason not to. They're, they're not paying me, I promise. But um, And it was just really cool. Like, I actually did some kind of descriptions. Like, I walked around um, Mountain Brook, actually, where I live, and just kind of looked at buildings and described them to my phone. It was early, so nobody was, like, Watching not very you. many people were out. And I just pretended I was talking on my phone if somebody yeah. was. But it actually was, like, a really cool exercise. And I tried it to write some other things, like, even blogs and stuff like that. Um, and so that's kind of how I started using it. So I still use it. I don't, I don't use it regularly when I'm writing, but when I am like, just totally like, sometimes you've just been sitting at the computer too long and sitting at the computer does not really inspire anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I feel like that's good because then it really does a pretty good job of understanding what I'm saying. And then I can just put that into a document and kind of go from there. So I still use it for that. But then we also use it to transcribe our podcasts, which was really cool because I had looked, I'd been looking for a transcription service. I think I, you were probably looking too. And everything that we tried was either too expensive or didn't really work or mm -hmm. both. <laughs> um, so uh, Otter was actually really, really awesome for that. Um so we still use it for that. We're, I think we're a little behind on transcribing, but we'll get there. Um, but that works great for podcasts. Um, I'll even use it. Um, I know I'm talking a lot. I, uh, if, I, if I saw the transcription, I'm sure it would be very long. Um, I even use it like after I would record a localist podcast with somebody, my other podcast. It's like an it's an hour long. So sometimes I would want to I would be like, I really love what they were talking about when they were talking about this one subject, but I couldn't remember like where it was. So I'd actually like throw it into Otter, see the transcription, and then you can actually do a search on the word. So then I would be able to find the topic really easily. And it's all like it has all the timestamps and stuff. So weirdly, I actually also use it to find like things we mention in the podcast, uh, even if I'm not putting the transcription up online. Yeah, that's cool. So kind of thinking of it as almost like a voice-to-text feature, mm -hmm. if you're texting someone on your phone and you can tell it what to say, um, sort of similar to that. And I know for me personally, like if I'm doing some sort of writing or, again, like if I'm journaling or doing some kind of brain dump, sometimes, especially if you have a lot of things in your head that you're wanting to get on paper, it can be hard to remember them all at once or, you know, it's it's definitely faster to speak than it is to write. So I feel like it is really useful. Um, yeah. And I, th I think it's a cool, cool uh, tool to use. Yeah. So. I mean, now that you're saying that too, I don't, again, I don't do this super regularly, but one way I do it is like sometimes um, I'll be like brainstorming the beginning of like a blog or something like while I'm like 
in the shower, getting ready, whatever, mm-hmm. and or in the car, and then it's it's a lot easier to just open the app and kind of like say what I've been kind of working on in my head. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is like it does work like voice to text, but I will say I think Otter is way better because like if I'm sending somebody a text message, like every time I send some, it's something's wrong mm-hmm. in everyone, you know, but. Otter, I do think, does a much better job of figuring out what you're saying. Another cool feature is you can, you especially with the paid version, um, you can actually kind of teach it words. So, like, one thing we find with InfoMedia all the time, I know you see this too, is, like, if you voice to text it, it thinks you're saying Indonesia. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> like, so I can actually highlight the, the time I say InfoMedia – when it thinks I say Indonesia and teach it, this is InfoMedia, and then it'll always hear it as InfoMedia. So it'll hear it correctly. Or, like, um, if if somebody's name is spelled differently, like, uh, we have somebody who works here, her name is Michelle, but it's spelled with one L at the end. So, obviously, uh, transcription service is going to usually put two Ls because it's a more common thing. But you can select one and be like, this is the correct spelling, and then it'll change all of them. And you can use find and replace the same way. So um, it's really cool. Also, if you see the transcription and you're, like, reading through it and you see, like, this one section, like, that's weird. I don't think that's what you said or whatever. With Otter, you can just click on that and it'll actually play the words. So you don't have to, like, look at it and then go back to your audio and be like, okay, what did I actually say? You just literally click on it and hear it and you're like oh okay I said this and you can change it so that is cool so it's it is like machine learning like AI yeah I kind of forget that sometimes with otter because I know we just kind of call yeah. it otter like casually yeah but it is it's so cute an AI. it is so cute that's I know. how the machines take over they they anthropomorphize themselves I know hopefully they all turn <laughs> into a cute zoo animal yeah um well cool uh I think this is really helpful, and I definitely think that there are a lot of uses for transcription. I mean, I know that not everyone is a writer, but I feel like we all have some creative things in our brain at some point. And I know for me, I'll be like, like you said, driving down the road or something like that and wanting to pull out my notes app, but it's like, okay, let me actually just tell my phone something instead of risking my life and, you know, trying to do it while I'm driving. But that's the... That's the cool thing about all of these tools yeah. that um, that are becoming so common. So Yeah, it really works well. And then it doesn't really go to sleep either. So I can go to like, or I don't, I think it takes a while. So like I can have an idea, say something, and then just be quiet for a minute or two and then say something else. And it just shows it like I just said it, you know. Yeah. When I am using it for blogs and stuff, some I'll do things like, I'll say new paragraph, and that's just for me. So when I'm going in, I can just, like, find all the new paragraphs and actually add new paragraphs. Oh, gotcha. So it kind of lets you find, like, yeah. exactly the point you were talking about. Or yeah. I'll even say, like, mistake after – if I'm, like, I don't like what I just said, you obviously can't, like, auto-undo, like, with your voice. Yeah. So for that, I just kind of make up my own little terms that it's, like, okay – I just have to do a find for mistake, and I know, like, I can delete what's right before that. Um, It's just, like, a quicker way to do it. Yeah. And a lot of people use it for meetings, too. I think they have, a like, a Zoom integration. And I know that Jen, one of our project managers, when she goes – if she goes and does um, interviews with clients, a lot of times she'll, like, record it with Otter so that she has, like, a transcription of what happened. Um, I don't do that as much, but a lot of people do. Yeah, I know for me it's super helpful to go back and listen to a meeting, especially if it was like a copy interview or something like that. Those those are really helpful to go back and listen to or, you know, having it actually on paper is a whole nother thing. I also love to see things visually. So even if I'm just listening to a recording, I feel like having it in front of me, like actually seeing the words is all the more useful. So yeah, definitely. Awesome. Well, thanks for letting us know about transcription apps. I feel like there's lots of uses that can apply to a lot of people. So I think so, too. Awesome. One quick question is brought to you by InfoMedia. Carrie is the host and creator. Elena is the producer. Um, Our theme music is by Brad Davis, and our sound engineering is done here in the InfoMedia studios. Find show notes for anything we talked about today or find out what InfoMedia can do for your website 
at infomedia.com slash quick question. And we'll leave you with this thought. A real expert helps to clarify, not confuse. So don't take website advice from someone who can't give you a straight answer.